Welcome to another video. Today we are going to be creating a random quiz using the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. And if you'd like to set up a disposable WordPress environment like the one we are using today, check out this service called InstaWP. So with this service, you can quickly launch your disposable WordPress instance in under one minute. It does everything for you, such as setting up SSL, so check it out at instawp.io. Alright, so from your QSM dashboard, you just want to click Create New Quiz or Survey. So these are our themes. We have our default theme as well as some other themes that we can install, but we are going to use our default theme today. So at the bottom, click Next. Alright, so let's enter our quiz name. Let's call this Random Quiz. For form type, leave it as quiz. For grading system, leave it as correct or incorrect. Let's set a time limit of about five minutes. So for the next option, leave it as no and click next. And we won't be using any add-ons today, so just click create quiz. All right, so this is our questions page and this is where we add our questions as well as our answers. So let's add our first question. So what day comes after Tuesday? So we can also add a description, but we are going to leave this alone today. Let's add our answers. So let's say Monday, next, um, Wednesday, and Saturday. Our final answer, let's make this Thursday. And now we want to select the correct answer. So let's check Wednesday, make it required, and click Save Question. Now let's create a new question at the bottom. Scroll down and click Create New Question. So I'm going to speed up the process of adding the rest of the questions. All right, so we are done adding our questions and let's move over to the contact tab. So this is where we collect information on our users before they take our quiz. So let's click add new field. For field type, select small open answer, label name, used for name, check required, add new field. Let's collect an email. So field type, email, label, email, used for, email check required once you're done scroll back to the top and click save contact fields all right so let's move to the text tab so this is where you can configure the message that a user sees before taking your quiz so over on the right we have variables that can be used to customize our message and we can also customize labels so for example we can customize buttons validation messages and some other options so let's scroll back to the top and if you made any changes to this message you just want to click save text message but since we did not make any changes we don't need to save let's move over to the options tab all right so this is our options section and this is where we can configure any option that we need to make our quiz function the way that we need it to so here you can scroll through this list and select or configure any options that you think you would need for your quiz but I'm looking for the random questions option. So it's right here and it is disabled by default. So from the drop down menu, we have three other options, but we just want to select random questions. So once you're done, scroll all the way down to the bottom of the page and click save changes. All right, so let's move over to the emails tab. So from this section, this is where we can configure the emails that a user receives after taking our quiz. So this is where we select where our email gets sent to. So we have a variable right here, which is user underscore email. Next, we have our email subject, which also has a variable. 
Next, we have our email content. So this is where we can type the body of our email and it has a variable by default. So we can add multiple messages that can be sent to our users. To add a new email, click this button. So this is our condition section. And this is where we can select the conditions under which an email will be sent. So there's total points earned as well as correct score percentage. So if the correct score percentage is equal to one of these options, then the email will be sent. And in order for this email on the right to be sent, this condition needs to be met specifically. And if there is no condition, this email will always be sent. Once you're done, click Save Emails. And let's move to the Results Pages tab. So this is the message that a user will see after submitting the quiz. So they will see thanks for submitting your response. You can edit this message on the Results Pages tab. So let's remove this last part. Now all they will see is the thank you message, their contact info, and the questions as well as their answers. So over on the left we have conditions, and this is the same as the conditions in emails. So once you are done editing, just click Save Results Pages. Let's move to style. All right, so this is our style tab, and this is where we can configure the look and feel of our quiz. So we have custom CSS, and we can use this section to add custom CSS code to style our quiz. If we click CSS in QSM, this takes us to a page that we can use as a guide to help us customize our quiz. So there is a list of all the CSS classes that you would need to make your customizations. So let's go back. And our final tab is Legacy. And these are basic customization options. So we can choose our style. Let's choose Emerald to make our quiz green. Let's save our quiz style. All right, so we are done. Now we just need to preview our quiz. All right, so let's check out our quiz. So we have our name and email fields, as well as our questions. There's also a timer at the bottom that we set to five minutes. So you can actually go through each question just to ensure that everything is okay, and also make sure that there are no errors. So if you'd like, you can actually take your quiz as well. So once you're done checking, go back to your dashboard and click publish quiz. So now what you wanna do is embed your quiz in a page. So we just want to go over to QSM and click quizzes or surveys. So now we just want to copy our short code. So there is a computer icon under short code. We just want to click it. Click the copy button. At the top, hover over the plus icon and click post. All right, so this is our block editor. We can click next to view the instructions or just close this prompt. Let's add our title. So let's call this our quiz or our random quiz. So at the bottom, we have a block. We just want to click the plus icon, then type shortcode in the search bar. Click shortcode. And let's paste our shortcode. Once we're done, we can click publish. Click publish again and click view post. So this is our quiz. And our first question is what day comes after Tuesday. So if we reload our page, this is no longer the first question. It is the color green is a mixture of. So the questions are randomized every time the quiz gets restarted. So I really hope this video helped. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and see you in the next one.